Hey guys, and welcome to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. This just came out today, and I decided to uh, pick it up and play it, because I actually like the Deus Ex series. I didn't play the first one, and I came close to beating the second one, I just never did for whatever odd reasons, I don't really know why. But, I'm playing on the PS4, and yeah, I don't really have the the right audio cables to hear the game in real time still because well, well I mean I don't I don't I say still because I tried to record uh, Bloodborne but then I fucked up somehow I don't really know how but I did so rip so Bloodborne got fucked and it made me sad but yeah so pretty much that's it but I don't I I can't really hear the game in real time so I'm kind of hearing it off the recording system itself. So we're gonna see how that goes. So we're gonna hit story now. New game. I have literally no idea. I don't remember what happened actually from the second game. So hopefully it gives cool. Give me a story. You played a game for the story experience, not for the challenge or competitiveness. Enjoy the day sex experience. Give me a challenge. You enjoy a good story and a good challenge. This is how the game is meant to be played. Give me Deus Ex. Hardened enemies and tougher situations will make your experience quite challenging and give you a good adrenaline rush. You are the machine. I never asked for this. That's my life right there. I never asked for this. I'll go give me Deus, Deus Ex because I want to play that. Oh, dude. That's actually... Okay. You enjoy playing the game as they were designed to be played. Even if there's a learning curve, you want to master a more fluid method of controlling Adam Jensen. Uh, the controls of the Deus Ex Human Re Revolution are perfect. Why mess with a good thing? This is the closest possible recreation of the control schemes that would mean standard skills have been sharpened, various FPSs. I don't really like the idea of sprint being on triangle, honestly. That seems kind of stupid. I don't know why they would do that. Uh. I don't really know how I feel. I like the original day. Like I, I like Human Revolutions movements, but it felt kind of clunky though too. I don't know. I guess I'll just play like a normal FPS. Whatever. I don't really care. thought I could save the world. Now look at it. It's cold in my room. In yet another augmented terror attack, 251 passengers aboard Sista Airlines Flight 451 were killed. When an augmented passenger broke into the plane's cockpit and ruthlessly butchered its flight crew. <laughs> Details recovered from the black box recorder suggest that the man may have been suffering flashbacks to the AUG incident. That horrible day two years ago when augmented people all over the world flew into a psychotic killing spree, causing the greatest loss of life in recent history. Sometimes, you just have to let go. And embrace what you've become. Not gonna go all wonky on us now, Hansa. Are ya? Well, if I do, McCready, I guarantee you'll never see it coming. Agent Jensen! Am I gonna have a problem with you? No, sir. No reason to assume you would. Good. Because you are the only augmented operative on this team, and I intend to make good use of you. Listen up, all of you. We got a sandstorm barreling down our ass and we can't afford to make mistakes. We're going after this man, an arms dealer named Shepard. He's ex-Bell Tower, one of the special forces commanders who disappeared during the incident. And he's come out of hiding. That cannot be good. It's not. He's selling weapons and military-grade augments to terrorists. This is Iran Singh, the undercover agent who lured Shepard out of his hole best you see Interpol's got. For three years he's worked hard to get in tight with the Jin, an Iraqi smuggling cartel that's infected the Eastern Hemisphere like a plague. Last week, 
Our arms dealer sent a message to the gin, offering to sell them a shitload of black market merchandise dirt cheap. They told Singh to handle the buy. They're not gonna like it when Interpol disrupts that party. Is Singh's cover really that good? It is right now. We need to keep it that way. This is where the deal's going down. A half-finished high-rise hotel that's been abandoned ever since the incident. It's not a pretty picture inside. Let me guess. Most of the laborers were augmented with heavy-duty industrial rigs. So when the incident hit and they all went schizo, things got gruesome real fast. And no one, except for some homeless junkies, have been inside the place ever since. So what's the plan, Director? Singh's meeting Shepard on the ground floor, inside the hotel's main atrium. He sent the bulk of his gin crew to the penthouse levels to secure a vantage point. I want McCready's team to take up positions overlooking the atrium and make the arrest. Jensen, you're going in solo from the roof. My objectives? Keep the gin from joining the party. As far as we can tell, only one route connects the atrium to the penthouse level, a halfway decent elevator shaft, here. I want you to block access to it. Fine, just cut me loose. Do you plan on relying solely on your augments for this one? I'd recommend taking a little hardware, just to be sure. Oh shit, dude. Non-lethal or lethal? Aw, oh, man. You know, I usually go non-lethal when I first when I started playing. But, uh, pretty much, the Illuminati's fucking everything over. And apparently in the recap, fucking Jensen was killing everyone. So, I'm guessing, canon... Canonly, Jensen kills people. So, we're gonna go canonly, he's gonna kill people. I'm not leaving my six exposed. Give me something lethal. Your call. But Singh's undercover in all this. So, watch your fucking sights. What about range? There's lots of wide spaces and high ceilings in there, but a number of tight and constrained rooms too. So it's a crapshoot, really. I'm gonna go fucking close quarters. Give me, uh, give me, give me that combat rifle. Well, I'm not looking to play dice with anyone in there. Give me something with distance. Your call. Less chance of being seen and compromising Singh that Give way. Give me that assault rifle, One boys. One last thing, Jensen. Singh said that Jin are using some sort of portable Wi-Fi device to boost communications. He's got a better chance of maintaining cover if you disable it. I'll keep an eye out for it. But aren't we on the clock here? You said there's a sandstorm moving in. There is, and we got the intel on this mission at the very last minute. So we're scrambling a little. If it comes to it, your number one priority is keeping the gin out of that atrium. Copy that. Time to put away your heavy thoughts, I like Jensen's hair. We're approaching the target building. You're up first, Jensen. Let's do this. Dubai, 2029. Man, it's a few years after uh, Black Ops 2. The future definitely is black. Oh, this looks like a Black Ops 2 map, but anyways. The cutscene looks like a weird D, the a D resolution. Like it looks looks a little bit like low quality. I mean, like the in-game stuff looks higher res, and it's really weird. It should be like reversed, or maybe it's my TV, and I'm just an idiot. I don't fucking know. Oh, baby. There's Jensen using his sexy abilities as augments. What a what an absolute badass. Reminds me why Adam Jensen's probably one of my favorite game characters. One of them. He's in the top five. Typhoon ammo. Oh shit, dude. Ew. Team leader, this is Jensen. That feels. Oh, what the fuck? Roger that. Why is it talking through my fucking controller, dude? That's... No. Subtitles. Can we get some subtitles on? Yes? No? How about you don't do that? I don't want that in my fucking controller. That's literally disgusting. That's fucking gross. The, the idea of it even thought that was a good idea upsets me. Also, sensitivity seems a little high. 
hit con uh, uh, patch here with you with you uh gameplay aim assist vibration automatic inventory management whoa automatic no dude I got doing myself like Resident Evil what the fuck they're dumbing it down for me fuck where it control scheme invert invert aug you know ah uh, That seems okay, I guess. Whoa! That seems a little unnecessary, honestly. Hold what? What the fuck am I supposed to- I didn't pay attention. I'm cloaked. Oh, that's Typhoon. That was my bad. Also, that was a little loud on my TV. See, I'm trying to use my TV speakers. You might you might hear an echo on that one. I'm trying to use my TV speakers here, because I don't want to have to constantly hear the fucking, uh... <sighs> fucking... Delayed audio from my computer, but that was honestly too loud. And that probably left a bit of an echo. So, my bad. My bad. Uh, is there a ladder? No. Is Can I go in here? Yes, I can. Man, just like old times, huh? Throwable. Ah, dude, lit. I can throw. I can. There you go. He throws things really weird. Still, I don't. I don't know what the fuck. No. That was weird. Do I not have any ammo on my combat rifle now? Cause I fucking fucked around. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Uh, can Jesus that fucking. Stupid. Stupid! Jensen, we're moving through. Oh, fuck! What's wrong? The Jin have got a few Jennies up and running. We're gonna have to hack keypad. Uh, that. The, I don't know. The turn is really slow, though. That's. I don't fucking know. Whatever. Just keep it on town. I don't fucking care. Don't even care! You should enjoy the free. Make colors and shapes. Just remember, red means bad. I'm gonna grab these. Fuck you. No. Stop! Get this out of here! Hey guys, I'm on my way. Hold and move forward to grab a higher ledge. Oh, well, I mean... Okay. This game feels really weird. I don't know why, it just feels really... It still feels clunky. I don't know why, maybe it's just me, but it just feels clunky still. I don't fucking... I feel weird saying that, honestly. But it just feels clunky. Is that what is that guy? He's got nothing on him. This guy's like burned alive, dude. That's rip. Can't go that way. Uh. Oh, my augmentations. Smart vision is what? Which one? Is it that one? Glass shield cloaking. Typhoon. Smart vision. Lake silencer. Smart vision. Uh, there. Ooh, baby. Structural weak point, huh? Huh. Well then. What's going on over here, huh? I oh, should. Sure, sure. You guys, you guys chilling out over there? It's locked. Should probably go up here, right? I'm in up here. No, and you can't you can't do that? Can we, what the fuck am I supposed to be doing here? Gotta go like through here. Well I gotta gotta get over there. Okay. Okay, so I gotta do the higher ledge thing. That's... What the fuck? Or do I just go straight through here? Dude. What the fuck's up here, then? Is there, like, a secret over here? If there's not a secret, I'm gonna be very upset. There better be a secret. Like, there better be some collectible. There probably isn't, actually. 
I'm actually slightly upset now. No collectible? Like, come on now. What kind of what kind of person does that? Honestly, like, why would you do that? Like, why would you? N okay. No, that's that's fine. That's 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 cool. You know, honestly, I didn't even I didn't even want to go that way. You know, I didn't even want to go back the way I came. That's still lot. Why? That's shocking. That shocks. Shocking. Ah, that's not what I wanted. I didn't ask for this, and neither did you. But here it is on my channel, Day Sex Mankind Divided. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. If you click the annotations on the screen, it'll take you to either my playlist, the previous upload, which is Mass Effect, or mystery video, or my channel, so you can subscribe. If you check the description, it'll take you to my Twitter. That's that's where I post things like tweets and updates on what's going on, on my channel. And other videos you should check out are also in the description. So, you know, do one of those things. Click annotation, like or favorite or subscribe. Do a little dance. Make a little love. You know, get down tonight. Something like that. I don't really know. Just do something. And I'll see you next video. Bye.